Pikachu! Are you ready, kids? Is this SpongeBob? SpongeBob! I can't hear you! Hi, Captain! Oh. Uh oh. What's happening? <laughs> Anime SpongeBob? Is it anime SpongeBob SquarePants? Is it like a Japanese version of SpongeBob? Wow. I'm just, I'm just surprised this hasn't been a thing sooner. <laughs> Squidward, what happened? Is that Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Why does Sandy look so creepy? <gasps> Is this fan made? This makes me so happy. I never really watched anime besides Naruto a few times with my friends, but I think they're nailing it. <laughs> they make it even look cool, like epic. It's so spot on. I feel like I'm watching like a real anime right now. What? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I think they could have done a little better on Patrick. <laughs> oh, ew! Oh, no. Patrick's under. Oh! Patrick looks like Boo from Dragon Ball. Wow. And they're fighting. I don't remember Ew. this episode in SpongeBob. <gasps> Ow. You got turned evil. Whoa, okay. Didn't see that coming. What? This is getting real. Oh my god. Sandy looks like a bad bitch. We always knew Sandy was that much of a badass. I'm impressed. What? Oh wow. I could have seen that in my nightmares. He just watched his best friend die. <gasps> okay, this is I don't like this now. Oh wow. Really bloody too. We look sponge was gonna say to everybody, no, Patrick's dead! God, this is just terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I'm already down. Like where's the sub button? I love this. <laughs> the end is normal though. Uh, I was just looking for the sports <laughs> channel, Gary. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> pretty awesome, pretty epic. Bring on episode one. So that was a video called the SpongeBob SquarePants Anime by the animator Narmak that went viral last week. Did it really? How did I miss that? Okay, I think I saw something about it on Twitter. It was cool. I, I love when someone on the internet does something like this, you know, unexpected and people are like, what? To see something put into like the Japanese format of like what anime is and like that's an English cartoon is really cool. The creators actually have done several other similar animations. So before we go into questions, we wanted to show you one more. Okay. Let's go. I'm about this lifestyle. I'm invested now. Long ago, in a time when Pokemon was Pokemon? Crossover? I like this voiceover artist. Shrek? Uh, Shrek and Pokemon crossover? Uh-oh. Go back over there and play with that ball before I mm. smack your little ogre ass. But daddy. What do you want, Shrek? Is that little that Shrek? Ball. Oh, that's baby Shrek. I don't want that ball. I want to play with daddy's ball. Who? <laughs> I want to play with daddy's ball. <laughs> Shrek, what the? Shrek, what the? He always keeps them in the face. <laughs> You hide away two massive golden balls. No touchy! I no touchy! <laughs> no touchy! I look tanker than a donkey's animal. <laughs> and I should be able to play with them. <laughs> when I can't play with the mummy anymore. Mommy is gone. Oh. That ball is all we have left of her. It's got very dark. You know that this the is sad. In the, basement are off limits the music is reason. good. Those balls are the only weapons we have to defend ourselves from another attack by the Titan Mons. The Titan Mons? Oh my god. <gasps> this is like Attack on Titan. Okay, it is Attack on Titan. Alright, I get it. It can't be. It's. It's Pikachu! <laughs> Titan Pikachu. Go grab your balls, bro. The Titan Mons are here. Oh my god. <gasps> no, Pikachu! But Pikachu is supposed to be so cute. <laughs> oh no, oh no, he's oh gonna no. eat him. He's gonna eat him. Whip. Oh, so, oh god, anime is so gory. Whip. <laughs> Holy shit. Shrek's dad just died. <laughs> Shrek, it's up to you now. Man, Shrek has a sad life. <laughs> 
When Fury and Titan Man's over, Titan Man's <laughs> gotta get them all. Machino Sadame Jojo. Attack on Ogre! <laughs> Attack on Ogre. Wow. I don't think I would ever watch that again. That being said, I have respect for anime. Being fans of anime, I personally thought they were great. Me too. I like it. I want to see more because it was Pokemon, Shrek, and. Attack on Titans, all put together. Animation is so insanely impressive on any level to me, and uh, these are fun. So these videos are both by the same animator, and these videos fall into a style of video where people take a well-known property and place it into an unexpected genre. Why do you think that people are so drawn to characters being placed in a completely different genre that this type of content he makes has gone viral? Because it's, it's something different, and people enjoy changing up things every once in a while. It's like a fan fiction that people want to see, but they don't know they want to see it. You get to see them out of what they usually are. So you're just like, whoa, SpongeBob doesn't do that. What? It's a fun thing to reimagine stuff and to see, think about what could have been if it was created by completely different people. It's disruption when something in their brain that is you know set uh, and has rules and has like a world gets disrupted it's confusing so people want to figure out what's going on so i think your brain is like how how could you take th this thing that i know and love or don't like or just know and make it different so narmak posted this to youtube and it has gone viral but it's gone even more viral with it being re-uploaded all over the place often without proper credit including one tweet that has hundreds of thousands of retweets that wasn't posted by him whoa that sucks so as a creator yourself how do you view this going viral if it is mostly from re-uploads oftentimes not pointing directly back to his channel. I just think it's really unfair. It's not fair like that you've put so much work into something and you don't even really get the recognition for it. If I were him, I'd be pissed because animation takes time. Like, at least throw their handle in there at the bottom or just tag them or something. It sucks to be honest. It happened to me once years ago, my first viral video in my channel got like 2 million views or something like that. But outside of my channel, it got 16 million which obviously I did not, you know, like gain any subscribers or likes or views, you know, anything from. For me, I just want to find an audience. And as an artist, that's my number one goal. Next is, you know, if I can make some money and don't have to eat noodles every day. But yeah, for me, not a big problem. Of course, when you create something that you're really proud of and you don't get credited, it sucks um, as a creator, but as a narcissist, just having someone see anything that I do is also very satisfying. I don't respect the people who repost stuff without permission or giving credit, but it I know that it does, from experience, help the creator in a way. If you want people to enjoy your thing, all exposure to it is gonna be positive. It's like a blessing and a curse. <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna get some exposure from it, because people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, like who is this guy? I gotta look up and people are gonna do the research. But at the same time, the people who are lazy and don't wanna do the research and look up the stuff, they're just gonna be like, oh, that was funny. The whole content ID thing needs to, I feel like, be a little more evolved for people to be stealing content or reposting it. YouTube does a really, really good job of making sure that your stuff gets monitored for the most part. But I feel like Twitter and Facebook are both like really like lagging on that. Mm -hmm. I know it's disheartening when people steal your stuff, but that just proves how much they love it. They love it so much that they will steal it and they are douchebags for doing so but it still means your work is great and you should keep going so finally if spongebob squarepants were actually turned into an anime like this would you watch it definitely not it's, there's something that feels like a nightmare in it yes i would watch at least the first episode in all honesty no but I don't watch cartoons anymore because they make me uncomfortable. I'd watch it. I'd watch like the first a couple episodes just, just to get to the see. feel out the vibe. No. Nope. Yes. Hard pass. I'd watch it twice. Hard pass. I'd have it on repeat. Wouldn't go. I would. Just because I would love to see like the characters that I love so much in like very weird situations. Absolutely not. <laughs> That one was so scary to me. I did not like seeing Patrick cut up like that, man. But the Shrek one, I'm in, absolutely. If it was presented to me on an episode of YouTubers React, I would likely watch it. I'm really into My Hero Academia right now, so if it has some sick fight scenes like that, yes. So Narmak, watch a little bit of My Hero, take some notes from those fight scenes. Give me some of that. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to all the creators who are in this episode. Links to them are in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. And if you want to see more animations from this very talented up and coming creator, be sure to click on his channel subscription right over there.